Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another new video on my channel, Train Teacher. And today we are driving into the Transom World 2 simulator on the brand new um, Trek Arosa line, which uh, came out just, I think, some hours ago. And I would say that we are going to take a seat in our GE442 locomotive right now. And ladies and gentlemen, this is our very first drive here, our very first test drive here into the train sim world and let's take a look at this beautiful view here into the um, city Arosa in uh, Switzerland and yeah I'm honest with you it looks very nice with the Unreal engine which is coming here uh, or which is used here into the train sim world too and um, it's and recovery um, city for people who got may a surgery or something um, to recover good um, yeah and I would say that we go up here and take a closer look to the view of the mountains in the background end of this lake um, in front of us and yeah just let this um, view or just inhale this view for a second and feel the snow just slowly falling down it's very nice and yeah we enjoyed it enough now i would say that we jump into our locomotive and drive a little um yeah now we are here and we have to go into um the ge442 locomotive we have to um join from the tracks because you can see the doors are uh, not on both sides of the locomotive for each cab just on one side um, yeah, and then we're going to take a seat here, activate the main key and then put the reverse into forward, activate the lights, um, open the doors at the right side, activate the uh, headlights in position 2, release the brakes and release the locomotive brake. And now we are departure ready for today. And um, we just have to wait a little until our boarding time up on the uh, top left hand corner is uh, completely full um, and in a few seconds just three two one it's completed the boarding and now we are able to close the doors doors are closed it's going very fast here and yeah I would say let's enjoy listen to the sounds and let's go Okay, from right here our maximum speed is 35, the 30 above the 35 um, indicates the speed which um, has been um, to be driven until this um, sign and you can see that we uh, reached it and from reaching it we are allowed to drive more than 30 up to 35, the maximum speed here is 35 km per hour on this track. And as you can see, if we're driving down, we have to brake very hard with our um, air pressure brake. Because if not, um, we're getting very fast or too fast and may derail or something. And we don't want this, to be honest. And yeah, our next stop is Litzrüti. And I would say that we're driving to Litzrüti. And after reaching Litzrüti, this um, ride will go on. Oh, there's a information system for us now, which shows something green. So I think it means that we are able to drive... Uh, oh no, it's a signal in front of us. It's, uh, it informs us about the signal in front of us. It says the signal is green. That's very nice. So we can go ahead with driving, but have to always pay attention a little on the speed because as you can see I'm kind of driving too fast sometimes so we are still too fast yeah, I have to be honest with you guys the brakes are up now or pulled now at 70% and it's braking just like 20% so I think the brakes are a little bit um, old 
and oh wow we can put the viper into different modes it's just fast uh, it's just mode on and they're cleaning it very fast and mode off so what the fuck <laughs> you can see if I turn it on I can't change the mode I think but let me check something um, oh oh nice we can pull out the mirrors here at the side you can see I can put it in and then it comes uh, towards us um, so release the brakes once again um, let me check wiper speed no that's not wiper speed uh, oh oh we're getting too fast once again but I think wiper speed no, it's not it's the vacuum pump, but we don't need a vacuum pump. Maybe... Oh, here I can activate the Viper. Oh, no, they're just... They just can get activated or not. Okay. So we can... Yeah, we just have to let this one activate it, so there's no choice for us, to be honest. So we have to drive with it. Although the snow is just falling slow and not too fast. I think we are uh, reaching Litsuruti a little bit earlier than the estimated time of arrival shows us here. That's very nice. And just for you as an information, we are in Arosa 1739 meters above the ocean. Uh, ab above the ocean. Oh, we're very, very, very fast. To slow down a little more. Oh, holy fuck. Holy fuck, holy fuck, okay. Now it's breaking, it's breaking. Everything's fine, everything's fine. Oh no. We derailed. <laughs> Once again. I'm always derailing with our trains. Oh man, I just thought that today it's gonna work out. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, very sad for me. To be honest, I really tried it. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this ride still and uh, take a little look uh, or took or was or you were able to take a little look uh, into the Arosa line and I hope you enjoyed it. So yeah, for more Train Sim World and Train Simulator action, please hit the subscribe button and we see each other soon in one of my another videos. Take care guys, stay healthy and see each other in the next video. Bye.